we need to define the perforation or the completion. Let's click this one, double click. I will expand the window. So in well completion data, the keyword is perf. We have general settings, perforation and relative permeability option. Okay, let's check the general calculating well index method, directional weighting, okay. And then direction K axis, radius this one in meters, okay. And everything else as per default, okay. The most important thing for us now is perforation. Okay. We need to set the perforation. Okay. And we can do that by add perf with mouse. Okay. So you, you have freedom to put the open perforation. Okay. For that, you can check my previous video. In previous videos, I use my mouse to set the perforation. But now I will set manually. So you can click this one, insert before selected node or insert after selected node. Just click this one. Okay. We have connect to surface, form formation factor, status, and the others. And then I want to type in, this is, we need to define the IJK grid. For I, it is one. For J, it is one. For K, I want to start at 18th layer for the K direction. But I want to open three layers, layer number 18, 19, and 20 for the K layers. So I can type in like this way, okay. And then we can add. Sorry. This one. One one nineteen, and then insert after selected node. It's one one twenty. Okay. So you see, if I maximize and I use pen reservoir. You see the symbol of perforation here, layer number 18, 19, and 20. Okay, and let's check the table again. Expand. So I open the layer for the I, the first layer, for the J, first layer, and for the K, 18, 19, and 20. 18 connect to surface, and then this one connect to row number one, and then row number two. Formation factor one, and then direction K axis, and the others will follow what we input in this column. Okay, so the block top and block bottom will follow, okay? Okay, so we can click okay or click apply and then click okay. All right, 